on my Prezi canvas, I have just a blank slate where I put in a title called Social Site Safety and I put in a picture with a bunch of little Twitter birds tweeting. Now I want to make my presentation. And I'm going to show you how I do it. And there's probably a hundred ways to do this, but this is my method. First I make my objects and I'm just going to put them wherever and I'm going to add my content to it. Now you can see my content is way too big, so I'm going to have to make it smaller. And I'm just going to use the arrow button to do that. And I'll drag it up here and see if it fits in the circle. Pretty good. And I think I'd like it better if it was centered. And I'll do that. And I'll get it just placed where I want. That one looks good to me. And this is the first item on my zoom path. So I'm going to click Edit Path, click on my object. It's now the first item that Prezi will go to, and I'll click Done. That one's taken care of. Now I'm going to do another one, and this time I'll do a bracket. And for me, I really don't care where I put it, because I'm going to be moving these in a little bit. So I'll put it right there, click Inside, add my text, get it the way I want. I can also add that one to my Prezi path. I can hit Edit Path, click Section Number 2, and hit Done. Now, of course, you could put all of your options on your canvas and then go through and put them on the path all at once. But I just happen to do that one this way. Now, I like a clean canvas. I want my users just to see what's in this center right here. So what I'm going to do is click this object and drag it over and I think I'll put this one on this bird. And it's too big for the bird right now so I'm going to make it very small. Honestly you can almost not even tell it's there, but it is. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Oh, and notice I clicked on the text. You want to click on the outer box because when you click on the outer box you can move everything together. Um, I'm going to need that much smaller and I do want to rotate it a little bit and I'll use my hand and move it over to maybe this bird right here and see if I can get it small enough. It's not very visible. Let's see what the actual presentation looks like. We'll go to present. This is what the users see and as I go through my presentation I hit my right pointing arrow and it zooms in to that item, zooms out, and over to the next. So that is how you can have your canvas set up so that really they only see the basic middle part. They don't see the other pieces um, laying around scattered outside, but that's fine if that's the way you like to do it. That's absolutely fine. Um, you can do it either way. Just wanted to show you this one option. And what if you want to, let's say you need to get in here and you need to change the information that's in this item right here. You surely can't do it right there, but you can by clicking on the item in the path. It will zoom into it and then you can click in there and you can make the changes as necessary when you're done zoom back out and so you can make those edits and you can do that with pictures with YouTube videos or whatever else you have you can do it that way